You know, when I started my channel almost two years ago, I had every intention on doing PC building videos. I'm what, 20 videos in and I still haven't done any? <laughs> so, let's build a PC. Welcome back to the channel guys, this is AJ. So yeah, I finally decided to build a home theater PC to add to my collection of rigs, expanding my PC family one by one, because I mean, my current rig is oh so very lonely. But without further ado, let's get into the parts. And here we are. Uh, just a heads up, I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step build process. Uh, I will do a separate video for that. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna go through the highlights of the build and yeah, so let's do it. At the center of it all, we have a Ryzen 7 3800X, which should get the job done, especially when paired with our Asus ROG Strix B550i Mini ITX motherboard. Cooling our CPU is the Corsair H60 AIO, a solid choice in my opinion. For the RAM, we have a 32 gig kit of 3600 speed G-Skill Trident Z Royal, one of my favorite DIN designs. Our boot drive is a WD Black 1TB NVMe SSD for quick startup and faster game loading. For our graphics, I'm using my trusty dusty Gigabyte RTX 2060 Super. Now, while it's not exactly the newest or most powerful card on the market, it's the only extra GPU I have at the time. I do plan on upgrading, but for what I need currently, it will suffice. Powering everything will be the Corsair CX650F RGB PSU. At 650 watts, this will be more than enough to fulfill this PC's purpose. And finally, all of these components will be housed in the Thermaltake Core V1 Snow Edition Mini ITX chassis. While it's not the smallest chassis of its class, I am a huge fan of it being able to fit a full-size PSU while being small enough to fit in my living room furniture. Quick note, this case does come with a 200mm fan, however I will be swapping that out to properly mount the AIO's 120mm fan and radiator. And to assist with cooling, I'll be throwing in two 80mm Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 fans as exhaust. With the parts out of the way, let's build this thing. Fun fact, the CPU didn't sit in the socket correctly and that was due to one pin being slightly bent. Now, I don't suggest you guys do this unless you're an expert, but uh, I kind of didn't have a choice. I uh, bent the pin back in the shape and it ended up working out, so let's see if this thing posts.
And despite my concerns with the CPU, the PC has posted. And with that, we are done with the HTPC build. Now, I do want to point out a couple things uh, for those of you who definitely noticed. Uh, for one, yes, one of my exhaust fans is not spinning. That is due to an oversight on my part. I mean, instead of making sure I had enough fan headers, uh, I did not. I just went ahead and built everything. Uh, so I did order a splitter. That's coming soon. So uh, item number two, you'll probably notice I didn't add any extra storage. That's because... I simply forgot. <laughs> I mean, you would think I'm, I'm a novice at this, but uh, yeah, no, I, I I just went right through it. And number three, that god dang acrylic side window. I swear, I literally spent 10 minutes cleaning that damn thing. And no matter what, a speck of dust, a fingerprint would always end up on it. So I said, screw it. Let's just deal with it later. But all in all, yeah, no, this was fun, and I definitely can't wait for my next build video. So, with that being said, I have droned on long enough. If you guys like the sound of my voice, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, link is down below, and I will see you around. This is AJ, signing out.